While Kanye spent the large majority of the last few weeks doing God knows what, he's now found himself right up against another deadline with only five days left to work on Vultures 2. At this point, it almost feels like Kanye has completely forgotten that he even announced the May 3rd date himself on Justin LeBoy's podcast last week. Vultures 2. Is Vultures mm. 2 coming out? When is it coming out? It's coming out May 3rd. May 3rd, for yeah. sure. Stamp. Yeah. There you have it. It is now Monday, April 29th, and with only five days left till the big day, you would not think Kanye had any sense of urgency whatsoever. I think it's almost guaranteed that Vultures 2 will not drop without a listening party or some sort of debut event, which we have suspiciously heard nothing about so far. Back in February, we got the United Center Chicago LP announcement only three days prior to the event event actually being held, which is a ridiculously fast turnaround. Using the Vultures 1 rollout as a benchmark for Vultures 2, that basically means that if May 3rd is really the intended drop date, we should expect to hear about a possible live show by the end of today, April 29th, or the end of tomorrow, April 30th. If we get to May 1st, or God forbid May 2nd, with absolutely no reports of an arena-style debut show, then the odds of a Vultures 2 release drop to essentially zero. I like to think of big stadium or arena listening parties as Kanye's win condition, aka something that absolutely has to happen for the fans to win with an album release. And based on his past rollout behavior, I don't think that's going to change now. We are still waiting on any word about the next episode of Justin LeBoy's interview with Kanye that was supposedly filmed a few days days ago, but in all honesty, now is not the time for silence from the Yeezy camp. Kanye needs to absolutely be dialed in and sprinting towards that May 3rd finish line if he's really serious about dropping Vultures 2 on time. Speaking of the Vultures as a duo, it now seems like Ty Dolla Sign's work on Vultures 2 is probably 100% done. Ty has had an insane performance schedule the past four days, with him doing one show in Romania, one in Abu Dhabi, and then two in Dubai, which to me indicates that his presence is not required in the studio with Kanye at the moment, which I'm taking to mean that his work on Vultures 2 must be done. Surely if Kanye was having Ty do big vocal changes to songs, he would be in LA at the Yeezy HQ right now. So in my opinion, the fact that Ty booked this string of four shows so close to the planned Vultures 2 date probably means his work on it is finished. Unfortunately, we only got a few videos of Ty's show yesterday in Dubai, and from what we know, nothing new was played, but we didn't really have anyone there to feed constant updates. He is performing again today and will likely maintain the set list he's put on the past few days, playing Vultures 1 stuff, some solo songs, and then basically only Fried and Field Trip from Vultures 2, but again you literally never know. It seems like he's abstained pretty hard from debuting anything unheard or new changes, but we are now in striking distance of May 3rd, so perhaps that could give him a small nudge in the right direction to bless the fans with a preview of updates to something like Lifestyle featuring Lil Wayne. Finally, to wrap up today's video, we got some info about a new Kanye song a little while ago that I never touched on. Nine days ago on April 20th, Kanye held a birthday party for longtime collaborator Jaylian Wesley at the Yeezy Melrose headquarters where a mysterious unheard new song was previewed. Yeah. 
Seven days later, on April 27th, we got the glorious return of the best insider of all time, Lewitt, who dropped a bit of info about this song, revealing that it's actually a Ghostface Killa song featuring Kanye and not meant for Vultures too. Lewitt added that Kanye's verse is finished and was recorded probably on the same day it was previewed, which would have been April 20th. Lewitt also mentioned that the song supposedly has tons of horny lines and even previewed one to illustrate what he was saying, which definitely seems in line with Kanye's writing style recently. Even though Lewitt confidently says this is not a Vultures 2 song, it's always possible Kanye changes his mind and decides that he needs a Ghostface Killa feature on the album, so I would not be surprised to hear this played at the next listening event. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think we are going to get a listening party for Vultures 2 before May 3rd.